What's going on everybody? Good morning. So we are continuing on this fault code and I'll show you which one that is in a second. The truck has 440,000 miles. Again, this is a DD15 EPA 10 and I did the valve adjustment on there and I'll explain why I did a valve adjustment. Typically when you need to do a valve adjustment, again, look, look at the intervals, look it up online. DD15 will recommend every so often to do the valve adjustment. It does help with your emissions. It does help with your valves that are opening and closing properly. And again, this has 440,000. It's a local truck and I mean local, okay? It doesn't really leave very far at all. I mean, it's, it's very low mileage as you can see, okay? So one of the things we're gonna be looking at right now, hopefully you guys can see that, okay? It is going to need an update to the MCM, but that is something we have to do after. Right now we're getting some fault codes and I'll show you that right now in a second when it pops up. And here, let's take a look. Let me minimize some of these things on the screen. And we're getting a DPF pressure very high out of range. DOC inlet pressure not plausible. DPF pressure out of range high. Okay, that means we could have an issue where we have a DOC plugging situation, a face plug. Now, right now, this is something that's kind of interesting, is the, go to the EGR, you're gonna see that your filter itself, it's clean, okay? It's at zone zero. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick regen. I'm gonna see what the pressures are, okay? These are the pressures we're gonna look at, DOC inlet, DPF outlet. I'm gonna do the regen. If it's too high, then what I'll do is I'll abort it and we have to do that four and a half, five hour regen. So I'm gonna get started on that and I'll keep you guys posted. And I'm talking about this thing literally just started revving up, okay? 1100 RPM, look at the DOC inlet pressure, 1.4. That's very high, okay? That needs to be down to 0 0.7, 0 0.8, more or less when you're doing the regen. Temperatures are still low, that's not really my concern right now, my concern is the pressure. But take a look at that, DOC inlet pressure, 1.5. That is very high, that definitely indicates we have some kind of plugging on the DOC. At the very worst, or very least, that's what we have. The, you know, what could be, I'm sorry, at the very least, we have a DLC plug situation. Okay, I'm gonna abort this, we're gonna stop it. And right now, what I'm gonna do is actually do a, a regen now, uh, the, the four and a half, five hour regen, okay? That's probably the only thing that's gonna save this particular one box. Hopefully there's no damage to it. What happens typically is the DLCs get pushed forward or pushed out towards the DPFs, and then you have to try and fix that one box or essentially get a new one box. Hopefully we don't have to do that. This is kind of a Hail Mary doing that, uh, the four and a half, five hour region. So I'm gonna get started on it, okay? And I will keep you guys posted. Okay guys, so right now we are gonna start the DOC face cleaning uh, routine or process. It's gonna take a while for it to go. And again, right now it's saying our actual DPF zone is zone two. Interesting when it said it was zone one. So obviously there's something going on there. It is going to start doing the regen. And let's see, press and hold the regen button for about five seconds to start this. And I'm gonna do that right now. One, two, three, four, five. And let's take a look and see what's happening. There we go. Regen is started. So I will keep you guys posted. And I did do a video on doing this four and a half, five, four and a half hour to five hour regen. Yes, four and a half to five hours. So start the timer. Let's get this going. As we proceed, the DOC inlet pressure will start to drop, hopefully once it starts to clean it. If there's any other issues, then we'll go from there. So I'll keep you guys posted. I notice right out the back, or right out of the gate, is I'm doing the regen, and you're gonna hear a noise. I'm gonna stay quiet. I want you to hear the throttle valve, and look at the throttle valve. Okay, it's gonna go to 87%, and then it'll fluctuate down to the lower number. surging and look at the DOC inlet pressure 1.3 and then it jumped all the way to 2.2 so we definitely have an issue here uh, I don't know if the throttle valve is causing this entire problem but you can see you can hear it I hope you can hear that surge chances are we have something going on with that one box so I'm gonna stop this regen right now I'm gonna look at the throttle valve I'm probably gonna replace it and then from there I'm gonna try the DOC one more time. If it works, great. If it doesn't, the one box has to come out and 
it's going to have to be serviced or inspected and all of the above. Hopefully it won't be that bad, but for now I'm going to stop this. And again, I apologize, I'm trying to record. But anyway, see that surging? You can't have that. So, and again, look at that pressure. Tremendous amount of pressure, 1.4, 2.3. So, I'm going to stop that routine right now. I'm going to go replace the intake throttle valve, and I will go from there and keep you guys posted. The regen again. I don't know if you can hear that. Sounds like somebody's blowing shop air into something. Right there. Not sure where it's coming from, but again, we're doing the regen. And look at our NOx efficiency, 46%. That's uh, pretty bad. So I'm gonna go over to our next screen, which is the DPF screen. And my pressure is at 1.3 on the inlet. That's very high. So again, I'm gonna try and do this a little bit more to see what, how this uh, responds. I may have to take the one box out and inspect it or pull the DPF. Yeah. Here we have our D our one box pulled out the DPFs have been completely removed and as you can see here the DOCs these are your DOCs are pushed completely forward okay this sensor should be straight down and as you can see it's completely this bent. is the DPF filter there are two of them okay it doesn't matter left and right right or left they're all the same and I have them here you can see there's cracks that go all the way around I'm trying to get you a good illustration or a good picture of everything so these DPFs for sure are no good. Uh, maybe the one box might be salvageable, I don't know.